Our next guest is a brilliant stand-up comedian. We are so thrilled she's here for the very first time. You can catch her next in the new show, Human Resources, which is streaming on Netflix starting March 18th. Please welcome the delightful Maria Bamford. <laughs> Goodness, how delightful. You guys, uh, some people love life. Uh, <laughs> I've always been on the fence about the whole thing. I could go at any time. Uh, what I would really like is a sharp blow to the head that I do not see coming, right? <laughs> Surprise me. My, uh, my mom loved life. Uh, my mom could squeeze joy out of an AT&T customer service call. <laughs> Sound deep. So can I ask you a personal question? Are you Hindu? <laughs> well, I was just wondering, because we've been on the phone for over two hours. Is your phone hot? Because my phone is hot. So <laughs> are you going to the river pilgrimage? Are you going to the Kumbh Mela? <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Of course. Well. I know that bridge collapsed and 40,000 people died. No, I know, I know. But you're going, you're going. No, you gotta have faith. You do. I'll say a prayer for you. Of course I'll hold. Uh, my mama could tell a very exciting story with no discernible beginning, middle, or end. So honey, I was just in the elevator and I saw this young man and I says, I know you. And he says, well, I don't know you. <laughs> and I says, well, here, my name is Marilyn, and I'm originally from Marquette, Michigan, and my, my sister, Dita, and he, he interrupted me, and he said, no, I just have a familiar face. I genuinely don't know you. <laughs> and I said, your name is Greg the Thirsty Turtle Airbnb in 2004. <laughs> and he said, no. <laughs> You make your own fun. Um, <laughs> my mom got stage four lung cancer and uh, she decided uh, to not have any more treatments. She went on hospice. I don't know if you've seen hospice in action. Oh my God, that is the best healthcare we have in this country. Uh, 24 hour nursing care, all the morphine you can eat with no one watching. Treat yourself, go hospice. <laughs> uh, my mom, so positive. You know, the great thing about this past couple of years has been the first time in my life I've been below goal weight on Weight Watchers. <laughs> so my membership has been gratis. Mom, you do know that even if a coffin is tight around the hips, eventually it fits. <laughs> oh, honey, don't do that one. That's not a good one. But the joke's on me, because she got herself cremated, and now she's just a pound! <laughs> I, uh, I like to bring her on the country, and I, I, I take her out at Nordstrom Shoe Departments. <laughs> oh, no thanks, I'm just looking. Uh, the day she died, my parents were together 60 years. My dad was heartbroken and uh, he brought out a box uh, from their bedroom and he showed the contents to myself and my sister. Inside were a large purple plastic vibrator <laughs> and a butterfly style vibrator with a remote. And he said, I, th I think your mother would have wanted you girls. <laughs> To, to have these. <laughs> but yes, Father, I shall take these as a heirloom. <laughs> and I will pass this down from generation <laughs> to generation. Thank you so much, Mr. Yes, Check it out, Human Resources on Netflix, March 18th. We'll be right back, everybody.